Listen close, what is this? Is it heartbreak? Is it truly what it feels like? What it sounds like? What it truly at a different chart? Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make that second effect that you just saw in the preview. So I already did my slow motion and lined up my clip with impact. This is what it looks like. I'll show you my graph real quick if you want to know what they look like. You easy use the keyframes and my graph looks like this if you want to copy that. Now what you want to do is um, press control space on your keyboard if you have the effects console or you go into effects and presets and search a black and white. I have my own preset, which is called the B&W preset, which I'm going to be using for this video. Settings here if you want to copy them. Next, you want to press Control y on your keyboard to make a solid layer. Name this uh, 3D Stroke again. Um, this is uh, the 3D Stroke that it will probably be most used since it is um, on the skin. It's good for box fight clips and all of that. So now what you want to do is put 3D stroke on the layer. So 3D stroke, perfect. Now after you've done that, you want to pull out the mask tool with the solid layer selected. You want to make a mask that's just like this. It's honestly a really easy mask to make. You can always adjust it later. Boom and boom. Make something like that okay so i made this around what i like this is um a pretty good mask that you could work with so i'm going to make this pink like i did um like a pinkish purple like i did in the preview now what you want to do is adjust the thickness i'm going to do six because i like uh that actually for this specific one you could probably go to seven i'm still going to do six and then uh you want to go into taper enable that and then change the start thickness to 100 change the end thickness to around uh, 30, 30, 40, could even uh, do 20, but I'm going to do like that, that's perfect. You just want to change the um, end um, at the beginning to zero, and at the end, so like a couple keyframes before, to 100. That will make a nice animation, so it will look like this. Perfect, now what you wanna do on the mask is press M on your keyboard and then pull this up. And then the thing is, it will, um, it's not gonna be like um, on point with the skin every time. So what you wanna do is enable mask path and then you want to go to like where it's not exactly right. And you wanna move this to like there. That's pretty good. So it just moves with the skin. For this tutorial, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you probably want to try your best when you're doing it, uh, like, actually. So now what you want to do is um, add Deep Glow onto it. So press, so, um, yeah, just put Deep Glow on. Uh, press the required for text tool. Now if you want, you can duplicate the Deep Glow. I'm going to do that and change the exposure to 0 0.6. Now, uh, yeah, that gives it a really nice glow. So after you have done this, now what you want to do is uh, duplicate this bottom layer. Now you want to go on top here, and then uh, you want to just um, disable it, and then you want to take the mask tool, and then go to like, uh, right here where it's all going over it, and then just mask that out. It doesn't have to be perfect, since you are going to have to feather the mask, so you want, you actually want it to be off by a bit. Now you can enable this layer again, boom. You want to go onto the top layer, press M, and then um, on each individual mask, or you can just press um, Control A or Control and then take them all down. You got you want to go to the uh, feather and change this to 40. There. So this is gonna make it like blend in kind of. You can even change this to 30 if you want to. There. So now it's gonna look something like. Um, Something like that. Um, it's not perfect in the two in the tutorial that I made, but you know what? It's gonna do for now. Um, but yeah, so now you want to duplicate this bottom layer again. So Control D, bring it on top. You want to delete the black and white. You want to press T on your keyboard. Go to the beginning. Keyframe this at 100. Now go to uh, around the middle. 
and change this to zero. So now it looks something like this. As you can see at the end, it is not perfect, but you know, you can fix that um, if you really take your time with this. But um, yeah, I'm gonna add a pre-shake, a, uh, a pre-shake and a build-up zoom. I'll be right back once I have those done. So my mic did cut out here again, but I'm just gonna show what I made with the pre-shake and the build-up zoom. So yeah, this is what I made. Of course you wanna take your time on the masks and everything, but this is the best I could do in the five minutes I made this. But um, yeah, like I said, take your time and it'll look good. Um, but that is really it for this video. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate a like. And if you're feeling generous, maybe even a subscription. See you in my next video.